Hello everyone. Today, I want to give you all a walkthrough on how to set up your Bose VB family devices to work in conjunction with Barco ClickShare. The Barco ClickShare device automatically connects your laptop to in-room cameras, speaker phones, and sound bars such as our Bose VB1 while allowing you to share your screen to a TV or external monitor in any conference room or meeting space with just the click of a button. Let's see how to get these devices set up and working with each other. To begin, we will make sure that we have completed our initial setup process for the Bose VB1, including updating to the latest firmware version by using the Bose Work Configuration app. For a more detailed walkthrough on setting up your Bose VB family devices, please visit our Global EDU website where we will walk you through each of these settings and configurations in depth. Once you have your VB device configured, we can begin the setup process. For this example, we will be using a Bose VB1 conferencing device, a Barco ClickShare base unit along with the transmitters, a Dell laptop, an external monitor, as well as the power connections for each device, a USB cable, an HDMI cable, and a network connection via Ethernet. We will begin by mounting the ClickShare device in the desired location of the room and connecting the power supply cable to a wall outlet. Next, mount your Bose VB device in the desired location and ensure that you have proper coverage of your room space. Additionally, you can refer to our Bose VB family mounting guide, which can be found in our Global EDU website, where you will see the differences between mounting your device via a wall, table, or VESA mounts, as well as best practices for using Bose products. With the VB device now mounted, we can connect the power supply cable to a wall outlet to power it on. Now, connect your ClickShare unit to your TV or monitor using the HDMI cable. And at this point, you should be able to see the Barco home screen appear. At this point, we can connect our base unit to the network by plugging in our Ethernet cable. Once we have established our connection to the network, we will open the Barco configuration wizard to ensure our VB device is recognized and properly configured. To access the configuration wizard, type the IP address of your ClickShare unit into a web browser on the same network and hit enter. This will open a login page where the default username and password are both admin. Once we are logged in, we will navigate to the peripheral settings page where we can ensure that our VB device is set as the default option. Now that our devices are configured, we can begin to pair the ClickShare buttons to the base unit by plugging them in to the USB port on the front of the ClickShare. Keep in mind, you may need to temporarily unplug the VB device to do this. With the button plugged in, wait for the indicator light to turn green and your button is now paired. Be sure to reconnect the VB device at this point if you unplugged it for pairing. We are now at the final step of the setup process and we just need to download the ClickShare app to any device that we want to share from in the room. Using our laptop, we will navigate to the Barco website where we will download and install the ClickShare app to our PC. This app will allow us to connect the ClickShare buttons to our laptop and instantly share our screen to the monitor in the room. Now that your screen is sharing, it's a good idea to give a test call using your laptop to make sure that everything is working together properly. I hope this video helps in getting your Bose VB family devices set up with your Barco ClickShare. And for more lessons and content like this, please be sure to visit our global EDU website at proedu.bose.com. Thanks for watching.